Hello everyone, I'm back with another video. In this video, we are going to discuss how we can install Ubuntu on Windows 11. So that's been said, let's get started. In order to install Ubuntu on Windows 11, we are going to use VirtualBox. So to download VirtualBox, simply open your browser and search for VirtualBox. Let me tell you that VirtualBox is a virtual machine that allows you to install multiple operating systems on single host. So to download, just open the link from virtualbox.org don't worry about the download link, you will get the download link in the description box. Simply open this link. So this is the official website from where you can download VirtualBox. Here we have an option called Download VirtualBox 6.1. Simply click on this download button. And here we have our download option. So we are going to download it for Windows computer. We have to select Windows host. And it will download the exe file which is around 103 MB. So let me complete the download process and after that I will show you how you can install VirtualBox on Windows 11. Our download has been completed, just open this file. Here we have the setup wizard. Let me minimize the browser and here simply click on next. And here we have our custom setup. If you want to customize this VirtualBox setup then you can customize this. For now I am just going to keep it default and here we have the location where our VirtualBox is going to install. If you have a good reason to change this location then you can change by clicking on this browse button and from here you can select your location where you want to install VirtualBox. For now I am just going to keep it default then click on next. And here we have some optional option such as create a desktop menu, shortcut start menu entry and other shortcuts. So let me select all this option then click on next. Here you will find network interface warning, don't worry about this warning, this will not going to affect your Windows 11 operating system. Simply click on yes and here we have a option to install VirtualBox. Here you can see it is installing so wait until the installation process complete. While you are installing VirtualBox you will also find some option to install device software. Here simply allow this option then click on install. Here you can see our installation process has been successfully completed. Here we have an option to start this virtual box. So let me uncheck this box and here click on finish. Here we have our virtual box shortcut icon. If you don't find this option here, you can also search by clicking on the search icon and search for virtual box. Here we have our Oracle VM virtual box. So let me open this option. So this is the interface of VirtualBox. Using this VirtualBox, we are going to install Ubuntu operating system on Windows 11. Now we have to download Ubuntu ISO file. For that, just open your browser and search for Ubuntu. And open the link from ubuntu.com. Don't worry about the download link. You will get the download link in the description box. Now simply open this link. So this is the official website from where you can download Ubuntu ISO file. Now to download Ubuntu ISO file, simply click on this download option. And here you will find Ubuntu for desktop, server and IoT and cloud. So we are going to download Ubuntu for desktop. Simply click on this link. So this is the download page from where you can download Ubuntu ISO file. Here we have two versions. One is our stable version and another one is beta version. So Ubuntu 20.0.4.3 LTS is the stable version. And here we have some system requirement for Ubuntu. Now if you want to download the beta version of Ubuntu then you can use Ubuntu 21.01 .01. but for now I'm just going to use the stable version so here click on download option here you can see it is downloading it is around 2.9 GB so let me complete the download process and after that I will show you how you can install Ubuntu on Windows 11 using VirtualBox our download has been completed now just open your download folder here we have our Ubuntu IS file now let us set up our installation process on VirtualBox for that let me minimize this browser. Here we have our virtual box. Here simply click on this new icon and here name your operating system. Let me name it as Ubuntu. This is the location where our virtual machine is going to install and from the type option you can select Linux and here simply select Ubuntu 64 bit version. Then click on next. And here you have to allocate your RAM size to your virtual box. Let me allocate 4 GB of RAM to my virtual box because I am using 16 GB RAM to my system. Then click on next. After that here we have to create our hard disk. Let me create a virtual hard disk. Then click on create option. 
and here simply select virtual box disk image then click on next and here we have to select our allocation type one is dynamically allocated and another one is fixed size here select dynamically allocated then click on next and here you have to create your hard disk size for your virtual box let me create 100 gb hard disk size then click on create so this is the configuration of our virtual machine now we have to select the iso file to select your iso file simply select your virtual box name then click on settings here click on storage here you will find controller ide here simply select this empty option and here we have a small disk image simply click on this image and here simply click on choose a disk file and select your downloaded iso file then click on open so our iso file has been selected now simply click on ok so we had successfully created the virtual machine and we had selected the iso file now just start your virtual machine for that simply select your virtual machine name then click on start here you can see our virtual machine is running if you are having any error that means virtualization is not enabled simply enable virtualization on your bias setting so let me minimize this window and let me maximize this here we have the installation window here we have two options one is try ubuntu and another one is install ubuntu so we are going to click on install ubuntu as we are going to install ubuntu on our virtual box here select your keyboard layout then click on continue here we have two installation type one is normal installation and another one is minimal installation simply select normal installation and here we have a option to download important updates and driver for virtual box so let me select all these and here click on continue and here we have to select our installation type here you can see it says erase dix and install ubuntu so don't worry it will not delete any of your data which is present on your windows 11 computer because we are installing ubuntu on our virtual box so you don't need to worry about your data now here simply click on install and here simply click on continue and here we have to select our location then click on continue now here we have to set up our username and password so let me enter username as the coder world and here we have to enter our password and here click on continue here you can see it is installing so it will take some time to install so let me complete the installation process here you can see the installation process has been successfully completed now we have to restart our virtual machine for that simply click on restart now option and here simply press enter so here we have our login page simply select your username and enter your password if you want to register your online account then you can register but for now i'm just going to skip this option and here let me click on next then click on next and here we have privacy option if you want to enable location then you can simply enable this option but for now i'm just going to leave it default then click on next and here click on done now let me fix the display resolution for that simply click on this so application option here search for settings and here on the setting option simply look for display so here we have our display option simply click on this display option and here we have our resolution from the drop down menu simply select the resolution and here simply click on keep changes here you can see that we have successfully installed ubuntu on our virtual box so that's it for this video hope this video was helpful to you if you find this video helpful don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe the channel for more videos like this bye for now see you next video